Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a rather large Dollar Tree haul as you can see probably from the thumbnail. So I've broken down everything into category once again for everybody and we are just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with food and drink because I did not realize how much I bought but then when I laid everything out in categories, half of the table is food and drink. So let me start. All right, so these are a repurchase. I have not even tried them yet, but um, I did find out that they are, in fact, a name brand coffee and rather pricey, and I have been hearing good things about it. So I did get a couple of more. Uh, I'm going to give some to my mom as well. Um, so this is the French roast. So I got a bunch of those. Then I got one of the, and that says dark roast. So then I got one of the Donut Cafe by Copper Moon again, and this is a medium roast. So I got this. I got one of those for my mom too. I got one of these to put in that thank you basket that I'm making. So I need to leave this out because I am. I just need to go to the liquor store <laughs> to finish up that basket, and I will be showing it for you as well. Um, so yeah. So all right give these to my mom. I should start a mom bag too. Mom bag. There we go. All right. Next, I picked these up so that I have them and I don't have to worry about it. I buy these every single year. For around the last five years, I started making my version of a mold wine and I end up calling it like my mold cider and I make it every Christmas Eve when people come over to open gifts and the base of it is this sangria flavored soda from Mexico. It is non-alcoholic, it's just soda and it's soda so it's carbonated but when you boil it out the bubbles are gone and it's the perfect flavor. So usually I would do five or six bottles but our Christmas Eves are getting smaller and smaller my grandfather is no longer here, as we know. Um, you know, this is going to be the first Christmas without him as well. And my aunt and my uncle moved to Greece, so they're gone too. My cousin in the Navy is now being stationed in California, so I don't think he'll be here either. So anyway, let me not get all sad <laughs> and, and nostalgic and stuff. But I just got three because that's going to be plenty this year. So I will show you guys that and it makes the house smell so amazing. Oh, it's like nature's air freshener kind of. It's amazing. Abs I love it. It makes me all tingly inside. Okay, moving on. I got like three cans of this. I have gotten this before. This is a 13.8 ounce can of Pampa Sweetened Condensed Creamer. Now I have put it in coffee before as a creamer and it is delicious but it's really basically the consistency and the flavor and all that was like condensed milk to me so for baking and for a dollar these big cans yes and the holidays are coming up so we need that so I grabbed those uh, then another thing I picked up for the thank you basket are these pyrolines in the chocolate hazelnut my friend is going to kill me. He's a guy. We used to work together at Legal Aid, um, the one that I'm making the basket for. He loves sweets and he loves vodka. So I'm going to get him a really nice bottle of vodka and then and he loves coffee. So um, all of those things are going to be in his basket, but he's going to kill me because he's been shredding for the wedding. And uh, I know even when we worked at Legal Aid together, he used to yell at me and then eat all my sweets. <laughs> So he's going to yell at me, but those are for his basket too, as well as, which is the right way. Here we go. These Lint Linder bars. This one is caramel, caramel milk, milk chocolate truffle bar. And this one is just the milk chocolate truffle bar. So I'll stick those in pretty. I just got one of each of those. And then, uh, all right. I was going to try to keep going. Well, okay. Then I got this for his basket too. This Entenmann's hot chocolate K cups. You get three of them in there. Okay. So moving away from his basket for just a second, I found these 
I thought this was really cool. I'm down to try anything. So this is, I mean, the guy looks like a pirate, but it's spelled P-I-R-A-T. Uh, this is a salmon spread, natural protein, no GMOs, 4.75 fluid ounces. Product of Poland. And the ingredients are Atlantic salmon, onion, water, parsley, root, tomato paste, rapeseed oil, semolina, sugar, soy protein, wheat fiber, salt, spices, and citric acid. And it has 250 milligrams of sodium for half of this container, 140 calories, 9 grams of fat, 2 grams of total carbs, and 4 grams of protein. And that's all for half of this can. This little, I had to check to make sure it wasn't cat food. You never know with Dollar Tree. They made, like, I was like, oh, did they put it in the wrong place? Just, but no, serving suggestion on little Christini. So I picked up four of them. Um, they were all, they were all kind of denty. So I tried to get the best ones that I could. They are good until 2022. So to put out with Christmas, you know, charcuterie boards and things like that. I thought that was really cool. So I'm willing to give that a try. That's my mom's bag. This is my bag. Okay. Then I found these for hubs. This is V8 Sparkling Energy Lemon Lime, 11.5 fluid ounces, good until December of 2020. So I didn't, I got like three. <clears throat> and it says Steady Energy from Black and Green Tea. So it doesn't have any of the crazy stuff in there, you know? Um, and it's only 50 calories a can, 10 total sugars. And it's got vitamins in there too. So. So that's the sparkling one in lemon lime. And then I also found <clears throat> this V8 Energy. And this is in peach mango. Good until also December. They're one day apart. Uh, steady Energy from black and green tea. This is 70 calories per can and 16 total sugars and a bunch of vitamins in there too. So for my husband for work. And then for me, one for me, one for my mom, I found these that I've never seen before. This is by Treat Yourself Sugar-Free Mixed Berry Hard Candies. And they're good until October 2022. Uh, they're not, I'll open it. Because <clears throat> there, there's no clear portion of the bag, so I don't know what it looks like. You just look like that little discs and it says sugar free on it and we got two different shades of red and a purple in there and it is I have no idea no idea oh three ounce <laughs> three ounce bag okay next these were a wish list item as well these scrumptious cookies there are two varieties I just got us one of each. My husband will probably be mad at me for only getting one of each. Genetics, I tell you, he can eat anything he wants. He's got no high blood pressure, no sugar issues, no cholesterol, it's just genetics. And he doesn't gain an ounce. Mm -hmm. Don't you love it? So there's two different kinds. They are a product of Poland. 3.4 ounce box good until july 29th 2021 this one is vanilla filling coated in white cream and it shows like oreo looking things there i just want to see what the package looks like it's like six cookies it looks like they're double stacked so, all right, now we know. So I got that. And then this one is with peanut butter and chocolate. This looks like, um, are those tagalongs, the Girl Scout ones? That's what this looks like, but better. So I got that. And then I got another one of the peanut butter ones for my friend's thank you basket. Yeah. That's why he's going to hate me. Okay. And sticking with cookies. These were another wish list item. This is by Sobisk. And it is a product of India. 
These are thin shortbread dark chocolate cream. You get six two packs in here. Let's take a look at what those look like, just like that. So you get two in there and you get six of these packs. Uh, and I got a few of those and I got one for my friend's thank you basket. He can wait till after the wedding. He's getting married next month. No big deal. Okay, and then I saw this. I only got two of these just to keep in case my son ever runs out of his lactose free milk. So this is 32 fluid ounces of sweetened almond vanilla milk. It's got 80 calories per cup, 16 grams of total sugars, and no protein. Wow. Packaged in the USA. So I just got those as backups, and they are good until September 2021. Whoopsie daisy. So almost a year. All right, moving on. I saw my friends Melissa and Michelle over at M&M's Halls and more. Please go check them out. Tell them Theoni sent you. I really, really want to help them grow because they deserve it and they're awesome. So these are Black Forest. These, this is a nine ounce bag. So it's like a big giant bag. I saw them haul it. I'm like, wow, I'm going to keep a lookout for that. So they're these Black Forest Juicy Bears. So juicy, so good until August of 2020 one and the nine ounces brings you to half or a little below half on the bag but I thought that was a great price for that okay then got some clearance junk for my husband I got three boxes of the Mrs. Freshly's powdered donuts the four four packs that come in here and they were 50 cents so i got three of those for him and then i also got two boxes of the mrs freshly's honey buns for 50 cents and one box of the like imitation twinkies turkish twinkies i call them <laughs> and they're individually wrapped in there and you get five Okay, so that's the clearance food. And I picked up one of these Snyder's of Hanover Sticks. That is a nine ounce bag, good until September 2021. And then I picked up another bag of these, Italian Biscotti, six ounce bag, product of Italy. So they're legit Italian. Um, because the other bag I purchased, I put in my friend's thank you basket. I, did. I can picture his text now. It's going to say something to the effect of, I love you and I hate you. Like something to that effect. And check this craziness out. So this is Dyer Mills. Crafted in Dyersburg, Tennessee. Tomato ketchup classic. 38 ounce bottle guys what this is craziness good until november 12th 2021 so no issue on that over a year on that and my husband and my son go through ketchup like crazy i don't eat ketchup they put it on everything so i got two of these for our house and one for my mom's house because poor thing has to deal with my husband and my son over there and my stepfather's not much better but I, th I, th I thought that was fantastic. Okay, and then I picked up three cans of the Pampa Pure Pumpkin. It is a product of China. It is 15 ounces, natural and no preservatives, 100% pure pumpkin. Ingredients, pumpkin. So this is also good um, for doggies. My vet recommended to give her some pumpkin with her food every once in a while. It's very good for their butt and their digestion. So they're like anal glands. I'm sorry if that's TMI, but if you have dogs, you know you have to deal with this. So that and the holiday baking. Pumpkin. Yes. And I think that's it for food and drink. Holy crap. Okay. So I have one party 
gift wrap item, so I'll just show it by itself. I got a bag of the black decorative shred by Wawa for the thank you basket. All right, so that's it. Then let's move on to like stationery and paper stuff, including one book. So I got a book that I usually don't get. I usually just go straight for cookbooks or craft books. They didn't have any today though, but I got this. It looked fun. Um, and it says it's by the author of The Merciless and The Merciless 2. I've seen that at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. But this one retailed for $10.99 and it's called Survive the Night. It just looked fun. So it says uh, morphs morphs a teen rebellion story into horror and does a nifty job with both scary and gory tailor made for fans of the genre so i had to get it another review says readers will be glued to the pages trying to figure out who or what is the terror that lurks beneath the surface and then it says pulse pounding nail biting exhilarating page turner yeah so i thought that was fun i don't know and it looks like such an easy read. Oh my goodness. It's like an hour book. <laughs> like, so I just thought it was fun. All right. Um, so that's that. Then they had these again. I bought these last year, but I figured I would get them again for my son because a dollar is a great price for these. If you know these Imagine Ink things. So they had two Christmas themed ones and I picked those up. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Snoopy. Yeah. Very cute. All right. Peanuts. Sorry. All right. So that is that. And then for my office, a couple of office things. I picked this up, this Pro, Pro Marks. They had it in blue too. I was looking for black. It's got that type of ultra fine felt tip. So I thought, I was thinking of like the ultra fine tip sharpies like this but then i was like they're you know a dollar each i don't know so you get three for a dollar here and i just wanted it to like write on labels or write something very small for work purposes so i thought i was like this will probably be fine it doesn't have to be crazy permanent like you know so i got that instead and then i bought three packs of these labels these um you get 12 they're by jot these right on removable index tabs so that you can like actually stick them on i that's just great to have like i'm gonna need this in my office and you could even cut these in like three because when you make if you go to like trial or you're doing all of your like evidence or discovery like a lot and exhibits like you make a giant book and there's all tabs on the bottom and you can buy tabs that say like exhibit a you know exhibit b and and like all this stuff and they're or pre-printed and they're like expensive for no reason so the court would absolutely take this if it was labeled and i have a label label maker too so i could even do cut them and you know anyway 12 for a dollar and then if you cut them you get even more i thought that was amazing then i picked up two more of the four color bic pens because i am going to put one into the uh highly coveted items giveaway at the end of the year because it appears it is <laughs> i kind of follow things as they go and i look at comments on people's pages and things like that so i think i think it is so i got one to put in that and then i got an extra one for a gift um then i saw these jot poster stickers you get nine sheets it says so i don't know exactly what that means it says 91 total decorative letters and numbers. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see the numbers part. Let's see. Let's see what you actually get. Uh, H, they're going to make me think now and sing the alphabet song in my head. H, I. They're not in order. They're not even in order. Oh my goodness. All right. So what do we got? What do you need for the whole alphabet? <laughs> this one, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. I would. I is on this page, but these are, see, they're all out of order. But anyway, it looks like it's four for the whole alphabet. So you get the alphabet twice, I think. Yeah. 
you get the alphabet twice and then I think you just get this for numbers one time but the reason why I had to have this look at the little sprinkles don't mind my nails they need to be redone aren't they so adorable oh my goodness so that's why I just had to have those because of the sprinkles all right I'll put that back later I picked this up this organization file by jot easy peel label so it's got it comes with the papers to do your tabs in there and then it's got pockets on both sides of every divider and you can see what you write there so i got that and then i picked up two two packs of yellow pads for my office again because that's a great price i think all right so that's it on the paper stuff let me do housewares all different types of housewares picked up two of these toilet brushes so i was on the phone with my mom she was actually at a dollar tree and they didn't have these so she went next door to family dollar and paid more than a dollar at two two fifty for each one of these because she wanted the one with the the cup thing and dollar that dollar tree didn't have them but then i found them for her i texted her she said she already got it but i got it anyway because i always have backs up back ups of these in my house because i don't want to have to do what she just did so i got her two for next time so she won't have to worry about it then i picked up another aroma diffuser because my aunt michelle the other thrifty diva told texted me and told me she wants one i said then one you shall get and then she said she wanted smelly things so i got her one of the flower citrus oils and one of the honey rose oils as well to go with that so we put that in her package and then patty from patty's chance holes and more found me one of these because this was on my wish list and she only found one and today i only found one so it is this like oil slick gorgeous gorgeous candle holder but i want it for pens on my desk so i just thought that was beautiful and i lucked out and found one more so pretty oh my goodness then this was another wish list item these ceramic dinosaurs for my son's room they have pink and blue also and i should have gotten a blue i'm kicking myself whatever he doesn't need it so one green one is just fine and that'll just be a decoration on one of the shelves in his room then i found these by that brand love to cook that i've shown in a walkthrough before so that is the brand and this is the same color as the spoon that i had shown in a walkthrough by the same brand but these are just nice little spatulas for getting the bottom of like a mayo jar or i don't know it's just really unique and like you probably now that you have it you'll be like oh i need it all the time it's one of those things you know so i got one for me and one for my stepfather's stocking for christmas all right and then my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Walls and More found me these for friends of mine for Christmas that I wanted to give. And today, I, there was like nothing left, but what was left was Sagittarius for me. So I got my own. Yeah. My mom's a Sagittarius too. Whatever. No, I'll keep it for myself. I'm more likely to use it. So that's why I'll keep it for myself. Okay. Then, ooh. Sagittarius is red carnation, saffron, spice, and oud. Or oud. I can't remember. Somebody told me how to say it and I forgot already. Then this was a wish list item as well. These oversized decorative blocks with one 3D embellishment on each one. I wanted this for my son's room. It has the sawtooth hanger or it's wide enough to just sit. And then I got this from my Aunt Michelle as well because she is a teacher so i thought that was really cool and she teaches math so that's perfect and she's a grade school teacher so i got her that for her classroom put that in her next box too 
and that's it for houseware stuff. Then let's do toys, toys and games. So in one walkthrough, I showed the like pop pop up one, but I didn't get that because. I don't know. I just didn't get that. But today I found the other two because there are three in the set. So I got these to save for my son for Christmas. I thought this would be nice for like family games. This is don't let them pop. I don't know how it works because I would have thought it needed batteries, but I guess it doesn't. It says push the bar of the game board to the other end and keep holding the bar in place. Then place all of the discs onto the game board. Gently release the bar so that the discs move closer to each other. Put the labels on the game dice by rolling the game dice. It tells you what color discs you have to remove from the game board. You are allowed to touch two discs before deciding whether they are going to remove on of them or pass. Typo much? If you decide to remove the disc, you can keep it as long as any other disc does not pop out. Small disc, one point. Large disc, three points. Medium disc, two points. The game ends when there are five or less discs left in the game. You can win the game if you get highest total points. I understood none of that. So hopefully my husband does. I have no idea. No idea what's happening. Okay. So that's that. And then I got this one. Don't let the marbles fall. So you build this like rocket looking thing. It has the two pieces there. You put the sticks all throughout it and the balls and all that. This one's easier to understand. But I will say, um, I have walkthrough footage. I don't know if I'll put it here because it's so long, but uh, hanging there was just the backing to one of these because clearly the whole thing fell off. Then I noticed all sticks in my bag and then I noticed the whole bottom and sides were undone. So I put everything back, counted it, and taped it up. So if you're buying it, be careful because apparently they're not glued on well at all. But it's supposed to be 20 sticks if you can manage to count them. 20 sticks, 20 balls, and all of that. And I've already gone ahead and put scotch tape all around it. Okay. And then I got this. I thought this was great. This is dinosaur memory match cards. Memory is so good developmentally, and I figure this will keep him into it, right? So I got that, not even for a present, just for like learning. But for a present, this was a wish list item as well. They came out, I showed these in a walk through these dino monster trucks. They don't do anything, I don't think. No, they don't do anything nothing they're not like pullback action the mouth moves but not i thought maybe it would move it when you rolled it but not even <laughs> like they literally do nothing but whatever so they have three different types this green one this blue one and this brown one so i thought that would be a cute little stocking stuffer for my son for christmas And then, are you guys ready? Have you seen this? I'm mad. I should return them. I'm like, I bought like six of these, but they were like this. And on one of the crafting pages on Facebook, I saw that people were saying they're the same size as well. So I don't know if that's true or not. I have not compared, but you get 72 blocks in here. This is literally twice as big as the other ones these tumbling tower bootleg Jengas. That's crazy. That is crazy. So I grabbed two of those for crafting. Maybe I should just keep one to play with because this is more fun now to play with instead of the one that's only this bit. I don't need it. Never mind. I have Jenga. <laughs> A little slow. All right. So that's that. Now let's move on to health and beauty. I picked up, I showed this in a walkthrough as well, I picked up these Make Your Own Avengers bath bombs and it has everything you need to make two bath bombs. I thought, I passed on them the first time and then I was thinking about it and I'm like, oh, I should have gotten that for Patty's son. <laughs> Why not? So I picked that up for Patty's son. Yeah. So he can make his own bath bombs. Mm -hmm. Then I got these bath bombs. 
So they have these star shaped. These are by Bolero. The star shaped is coconut and wild berries. You get three of these little star shaped bath bombs. They are shrink wrapped individually. And then you get this gem shaped bath bomb in peony and pear. So it's shaped like a little diamond. I love that. And you can break these apart and add them to gifts. Oh man, those smell good. Okay. Then I got these by Body Benefits. They had it in a blue color like this too, but I got this color because I got the washcloths in this brand in this color that also came in the darker blue. So now I can pair them together as part of a gift and make it even nicer. And you can hang it. They always brag that you can hang it, but it's got this like rubber thing on top. So this is Polish and Glow Dual Texture Glove Set. So you get two different gloves. A gentle glove and an exfoliating glove. Okay. So that's just for gifts. And then I got two of these Bolero wipes. One for me, one for my mom. This is the 32 count in rose, water, and honey. Yes. Okay. Next. I got these for gifts as well. Uh, this is the only thing I found in the men's line so far. I'm waiting for those little boxes. Patty asked me if I wanted it. I said no, because I figured I'd find it, but still haven't found it. But I got one, e one of each scent of the men's two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. This one is charcoal and bamboo, and this one is cedar wood and eucalyptus. I couldn't smell them because they're sealed, and they're for presents. So I don't know which. But anyway, I got them for Christmas presents to add to other things. As well. that, that little box thing would be nice. But <laughs> Always happens. I'm like, no, no, I'll find it. Then I showed all the hair stuff in the walkthrough, if you remember. So I bought a few things. This is this was $4.99. This is that brand On The Verge. And you get three of these beautiful, beautiful. There's like actual little gems on there. So pink, blue, and silver. I got those for me. Why not? Yeah. Got those for me. Got these. I don't know why, but I did. This two-pack that retailed for $3.99 at Kmart. Because they're just little cloth-covered, like, alligator clips. That would be even cute if I don't wear it. That would be even cute on pocket letters and loaded bags. Then I got this for me, too. <laughs> this retailed for $10. That is crazy. I was, my thoughts were I'm going to take the tiara off unless I save it for my birthday because I have a December birthday and this is very like Snow Queen to me. Got to stand this up more. There we go. Right? It's pink and furry. Then it's got, I might just save it for my birthday. Save it for my birthday and then take the tiara off maybe. See if I would wear this. I don't know. But it is so soft. And it's got all the rhinestones and glitter. So it's screaming my name. Even though I'm not 12. What am I saying? Eight. <laughs> then I also got this just because I thought that was a great price. This also retailed for $3.99 uh, from Kmart. And it's got three of the cloth covered alligator clips little things again for embellishments on crafts and then for me also i was really digging the leather like stuff that was in there so i got they had the headbands as well in both of these colors the hard headbands but i just got these this bow pack it's an alligator clip as well and then these little ones those are alligator clips as well if you can see and I got the black leather scrunchie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And this is, these are distributed by Greenbrier stuff. The usual players. 
picked up one more of these uh, Borghese Botanical Eye Compresses. Picked up one of these for the highly coveted items giveaway at the end of the year as well because it seems like it's going in that direction too from what I can see. Then I picked up this L'Oreal Paris Colorista Spray. My store only had the pink. It's one day color. Hashtag pastel pink 10 or number pastel pink 10. That's what it looks like. I just thought that was fun. One day I used to have actually when my husband first like met me the bottom half of my hair was hot pink and then the brown laid over it like it was like underneath but yeah that was cool all over coloring may require more than one can I don't know if you can see that but it shows you what it'll look like on blonde hair versus brunette hair it's not really picking up, but it almost looks more purpley on the brunette hair. But again, just for fun, and then it washes out. Why not? You only live once. Life is too damn short. Then I got all four of these for a friend, actually. This is These are the uh, oil-infused cosmetic swabs. You get 50. They are distributed by Greenbrier. So the rose-infused is pink. They have aloe-infused, which is green. They have lavender infused, which are purple, and they have coconut infused, which are light blue. So every, everybody was saying they don't smell or anything, but so I got this set for a friend, and then I got two more of the rose, particularly one for me, one for my mom. Okay, then I found these. This is so heavy. These are Smart Care Fisher Price 64 baby wipes, and these are the 99% water wipes. If you've ever priced water wipes, like I think it's actually a brand called Water Wipes, they're more expensive than regular wipes. I don't know why. It's just water. <laughs> but these are great. This is like the best thing ever for sensitive skin. So I got those um, and that's it for health and beauty. I have a few apparel items and then we'll move into Christmas and it'll be over. So apparel, I picked up one of these two packs of magic gloves. This pack has purple and black. They had like two black, they had pink and black. They had a whole bunch of different varieties, but I got these to throw into the bug out bag because cheap gloves, you know, for the winter winter weather portion of the bug out bag. Why don't you could wear two pairs at the same time if you need them. It's 50 cents a pair. Amazing. So that's that's it on the gloves. Then I found these suggested retail $9 by Expressions. These are boys dress socks, but they're in this deep chocolate brown. So I thought those were really cool and my son does not have any brown dress socks at all. He doesn't have any brown socks at all. So I got those for him. Then I found these, which I had never seen before. These dino socks, these little ankle socks. And then you get a black and army green striped second pair. Oh, three pairs. Where's the third one? Oh, cool. Those are just army green. I like that. Very cool. Okay. That's that. Then I got two of these for my husband's stocking and my stepfather's stocking. These are not distributed by Greenbrier. This is Mossy Oak. Mossy Oak. So these are extra cushion moisture wicking premium comfort cushion work socks. They only had, it's a shoe sizes 6 to 12, and they only had this color, this light gray with darker gray heel and uh, top. It's, no, it's the toe, sorry. So I thought that was really cool. Mossy Oak. Yeah. Stockings. All right. That's it for apparel. Oh, no, one more thing for apparel, and a perfect segue into Christmas. I love it when this happens. I got these men's dress socks with the Christmas lights on them to put into the thank you basket for my friend because 
A, he loves fun socks, and B, he loves Christmas. So this was screaming his name, and I'm just going to throw those into his basket as well. Okay. You may be wondering why, like, this basket is so intense. Let me just tell you, I will spend as, I don't care how much money I spend on this basket. So I had a client uh, that was very close to me. Um, I had a very close relationship with this client. It's somebody I know. And they we went to court and they were facing a minimum, minimum of thirty thousand I'm sorry, three thousand dollars in fines. Their fines could have been three to thirty thousand dollars, depending on how that went. Um, it was like it was six violations and the fine is five hundred to five thousand dollars per violation so they were facing three thousand to thirty thousand dollars in fines and were ready for whatever came but my friend um had a little bit of pull and and put in a good word for me and hooked me up big time so that's why i don't care how much i spend on this basket because it's not going to be a three thousand dollar basket you know what i'm saying so that's why. Um, all right. So that's the segue into Christmas. But just before we begin, I got like four packs of this. No, five packs of this. I'm going to give three to my mom. I'm like obsessed with these things now. You get two packs of them. They're the thin little like cookie sheet one. I line all of my sheet pans now when I cook something because it makes the, the cleaning so much easier. So, yeah. And my mom is cooks for me often too when I'm busy, so she likes those too. So okay, now the segue into Christmas. So all of the rest of the stuff is Christmas. Picked up one of these ginormous gift bags because these sell out super fast. These are this is by Voila, and I just picked this one. And the side is blue with white Christmas trees. So cute. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Then I got two packs of the red and green tissue paper. 24 count. Not bad for Christmas wrapping paper. They actually only had two. So I'm assuming this was from last year. So 24 count. I grabbed the two. Okay, then I got a lot of gift bags. One was a wish list item, so I'm very, very excited about that. And the other one I'm still looking for, but I will keep looking. All right, so I got one of these. Hold on. One of these. I love that. So pretty. So pretty. And the sides are blue plaid. And then this is this is from last year because I bought it last year. But I just picked up another one because it's so pretty. And the sides are plaid. I got this one. Merry Christmas and then it's got the little like yellow lab in the bed of the red truck I love that so I got that then this is a wine bottle bag but I don't need to use it as a wine bottle bag I'll use it for anything and this is a 3d stuck on glittery red truck and it says believe in the magic of Christmas and the sides are green buffalo check i love that then this was the wish list bag pack um it's a two pack and they are craft paper and you have the red glittery truck <laughs> and then the silver snowflake so both of them are stunning i can't even deal with it so but you already know so i did get a few packs of that and the fallout is real, in case you were wondering. Three, four, 
I got four packs of that. And then I got two packs of this because I thought this was super cute too. Merry Christmas in glitter. And the second bag on that is just the trees. So pretty. Oh, I love presents. Like I love making and giving presents. You guys already know. Then I just picked up one of these 31 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. It says no peaking until Christmas. Feels better than their laundry bags, maybe, a little bit. Just one of those. Again, you don't know. And then this was new. What the hell? Giant gift bag. Dinosaurs with Christmas lights on them. And wreaths. And earmuffs and candy canes and sweaters. The Triceratops has ornaments hanging off of his horns. This is amazing. So it's one of those giant gift sacks in the Christmas section, 36 inches by 44 inches. And the matching tag. Again, you can cut it, use it as wrapping paper, whatever. Then I picked up one each of the projectors. The green one is Santa's sleigh with the reindeer and the red one is the beautiful little snowy house scene. So I picked up one each of those. But then I bought another one of these because I was kicking myself. Oh no. No, this is the one I didn't find that I was looking for. So now I got one of these as well. So this is season's greetings with the red truck and it's got that like hourglass shape. So you can fill it low with whatever and then tie it at the waist <laughs> you you know you're with me um and it does come with the twist ties you get 15 i don't know if i said that okay and then two signs and then we're done that's it so i got this one i thought this was cute yeah, there we go this one Santa stop here it's so cute I love it so I just got that and his little legs dangle and then the last thing in this haul uh, I bought the elf one already of this size so I have the elf one I got to show you my, my Halloween one hold on I'll, I'm gonna show you before we end because they're not in case you don't know they're not that good um, so the applique is the ho 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 but the rest of it is flat and this is the Santa one. So I thought this would just be really cute to pair with the elf one. Let me show you my Halloween one. Can you see this? <laughs> can, can you see? Oh my goodness. So warpy, so warpy. Yeah, terrible. But whatever. I mean, it didn't even make it the whole season, though. I Like, I usually think of them as one season, but it didn't even make it the one season. Anyway. All right. That's that. So that is the gigantic Dollar Tree haul that has already been long enough. But because I'm crazy, I'm just going to go ahead and add on four minutes. Four minutes. I think that's what it is of just some stuff that I saw in the store that I did not buy. and that's, Or variations of things that I did you know anyway uh, all right so yeah so stay tuned for four minutes of bonus footage and until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you so let's take a look around in the soaps see if there's anything new i do see these new 13.5 ounce lucky soaps without the pump this time we have tropical paradise and fresh peach there's the Clorox Fragansia, the Nouvelle we've seen before. And in the Lucky, we also have Kiwi Melon, Cherry Blossom, and Lavender Bouquet. And here is the Bolero, the three face wipes, Rose Water and Honey, Pineapple Aloe Vera, and Orange Blossom and Lavender. They have these new massage rollers by April. They come in lavender, turquoise, and pink. And they have one roller on the top and small rollers on the bottom. In toys, I see this Crayola Model Magic. 
comes in red, yellow, and blue. It says shape it, bend it, slime it. And then it says see the website for slime. There are these little packs like this. And then they have these. Palo Santo is the first scent. There are these low, wide mouth ones. Healing Stone. Mineral Mist. And this last brighter blue one in Turquoise Tides. And these are distributed by Greenbrier. They also have these in the Rose Collection. Cranberry Chutney. These are their holiday scents. And Frosted Gingerbread with the green top. The designs on them are super pretty as well. Here's the Cranberry. And on the green one, there's the Gingerbread. I'm just going to kind of scroll through some new signs that I'm seeing that my store just put out. Here are the ornament shaped ones. They actually have metal accents on the top of those as well. And then there's the sleigh shaped ones, sled, I'm sorry, sled shaped ones. That's from last year, I believe. These are the long, the three new long signs. Those are super cute. And I know this one is one that people want a lot, known for the holidays, and they have this new Ho 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 one as well. And these are from last year too. I like the little bulb shaped one right there. That's cute. And here are the hanging blocks and the three piece hangers as well. And the felt shapes, of course, and the snowflakes and the wreaths, all the usual stuff there. There's the tinsel camper that I've hauled, the tinsel red truck from last year, and the hats, the candy cane, penguins, but I think the nutcrackers are new for this year, and there's the trees. Then I see this unique uh, banner, 10.8 feet in the pink chevron, and this hashtag awesome sign in the blue iridescent it's the only one they have hashtag awesome and this looks new to me we heart mermaids six foot banner now they've come out with the pink jewel border we first we had gold and silver then they came out with a turquoise and now i see pink for the first time ever in these borders and i've seen the glitter frames before but in normal sizes but now i see a four by four so that's going to do it for today's gigantic haul video, guys, and just a couple of minutes of bonus footage there at the end. Thank you for spending a huge chunk of your day with me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends.